And after the break, Hollywood horror star Tara Reid. Hello? Have you checked the children? Room. Now, if you're just tuning in, the wardrobe department hasn't gone insane. We're meant to be dressed like this. Barry's just taken a worming tablet. Chris is giving him a quick inspection. <laughs> <laughs> he dragged his backside up and down the couch. Oh, come on! Come on! Oh, I'm like Bill Shorten at a press conference. Nothing's working. Now, guys, do you like scary movies? No, Love them. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Didn't like snakes on a plane. Because oh. <laughs> of all the snakes? No, it just wasn't a good movie. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, I love a scary movie like Sharknado. That was terrifying, wasn't it? <laughs> well, this week I got the chance to catch up with one of the stars of Sharknado, Tara Reid, who's also the star of an Aussie horror film. Are you here for Tara? How did you know? Well, she was in room 1313, but you may find that she has checked out. Hello? Have you checked the children? What? What do you want? Your blood. Oh, don't be stupid. Wow, I was having a bit of a, uh, a daydream. Sorry about that. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was a daydream about you being the queen of scream. Is this a new genre for you? Have you always loved horror films? I've always loved horror films. Actually, my first horror film was when I was seven years old. It was called The Return of Salem's Lot. I played a vampire. My name was Amanda. They're always evil, aren't they? Uh, of course. You've been in some incredibly uh, unusual and amazing films over the years. The Big Lebowski, American Pie, the cult classic Sharknado. How do you choose your roles? They're all very different. You know, it's, it's funny. It's not necessarily that you always choose your roles. Your roles choose you as well. Sometimes I like to play comedy. Sometimes I like to play drama. But I really feel like the fans, the most loyal fans, are in the horror. Look at the kangaroo. Yeah, right there. <laughs> what was it like working on a, a, a small uh, Australian film? Did they make you eat Vegemite sandwiches and sausage rolls for lunch? The food is definitely different on this movie compared to normal movies. But they did. I like chicken, and they did give me chicken every day, so we were okay. <laughs> sure, you had to kill it yourself, but that's fair. Uh, I think we did actually. <laughs> it wasn't the best chicken in the world. <laughs> We can't show uh, a lot of this film or even the trailer on our show because it's terrifying. It's terrifying. Terrifying. <laughs> Have you got that on the poster? No. You should. <laughs> but let, look, let's watch the trailer together now. Okay. Hold me if I get scared. Are we going to go to this Charlie's farm, please? Yes, we are. He wants to take you to a very dark and evil place. <laughs> Friends are all dead. He's creepy. Turn, turn, turn around. Oh, 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 oh. Turn, turn, turn around. Ah! I'm not going in there. I'm scared. I'm scared. You were sensible. You were sensible. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Okay, that's it. That'll do. You know, I'm exhausted, and that was just the trailer. <laughs> when Hitchcock did his horror films, he'd often terrify the leading lady, his main actress, while they were filming the movie. Did you have any of that on this film? Why don't you just ask him? Who's him? Chris Sun, the director. Mum! Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Chris. Hello. How are you? Um, did you terrify Tara while you were making the film? Um, we definitely did. What are some of the main pointers you have to get right for a good horror film? Number one, of course, is special effects. You have to have great special effects. Number two, you have to have a really good killer. And number three is sound. Sound design is so important. Is one of the big things in a horror film that sometimes you get right to the end and you still don't know who the killer is? I think you should ask Tara about that. Oh, right. You should ask Chris. Chris. Oh, it's been great, thank you.